Hey, what's up? Uh, I just thought that I would record a tutorial for the third flying section in TTC because I see a lot of people struggle with this um, at all levels. And so I thought I would just kind of show some of the visual cues that I use to make it more consistent. Um, so yeah, so first of all, um, when you take off in flight, um, this um, spring pad right here is going to load in before the mumbo token does. And so what you kind of want to do to make uh, this whole setup more consistent is fly to the left side of the mumbo token. And a good way to get that set up is uh, like maybe like one third of the way from the left of the pad. Line that up with like the middle of this. So you're flying in a line that basically aligns where my mouse is. And it should put you um, pretty close to the left of the mumbo token. You can obviously adjust um, accordingly once the token loads in. So uh, what you're going to look for here is um, after you grab the mumbo token, um, you can count Kazooie's flaps. It'll go um, up, down, up, down, um, up, down. And so I would say between two and a half and three. Um, so right here, I hit A and it's one flap, two flaps. And then about right before the third one, um, I start holding up on the stick, so that way uh, Banjo and Kazooie go down, and this will consistently line you up with uh, these three notes here. Um, obviously, whenever you push A, you're going to kind of have to time uh, when you hold up, but it's, it's very, very consistent. And so you're going to fly down straight into these notes, and right as you grab the third note, I would even say maybe like right before, but right as you grab it, you're going to turn your control stick uh, to where you're facing the pink Jinjo. Uh, you don't want to do this too early. If you do it too early, then when you line up your beak bomb, you might land in the water. And if you do it too late, you're going to land on this platform right here. So uh, you want to avoid uh, doing it too early or too late. Um, yeah, so you'll turn here. Um, line up with the pink Jinjo and uh, it's a little bit hard to see here because the Jinjo is blocking it but there's like um, there is a point right here in the shore so the shore um, there's a straight line here and like right where this Jinjo is you can see it kind of um, cuts down uh, this way it's like a different angle um, right where it changes you want to line up your beak bomb to be um, like slightly left to where the corner is. You can see I do that right here when I flutter. Uh, here, let me see. This is the corner and I'm slightly to the left of it. And you'll always, or most of the time at least, um, land into the honeycomb. Uh, this is probably the hardest part of the entire flying section to get the pink Jinjo and the honeycomb in this one beak bomb but um yeah so that's kind of what i look out for and um something you also want to look out for here you don't want to be too close or too far from this jinjo when you beak bomb if you're too close um you're going to um most likely fly past the honeycomb and if you're too far away before you beak bomb you likely will uh, not reach the honeycomb and you also don't want to be too high or too low generally uh, Obviously your angle will be a little bit different here, but you're gonna want to basically beak bomb um, And try to hit the head of the Jinjo if you try to hit anywhere lower You'll probably tumble and if you hit any higher you'll get the animation where the Jinjo jumps and you miss him so yeah those are the visual cues I look out for, um, and it, it typically works. You're, you're going to have to practice it to get it consistently for sure, but um, yeah, and the good thing about this is if you do miss the honeycomb, it's it's super easy to back up. You're, with, the, like, with the visual cues I use, you're not going to like land in the water or anything like that, so you should be fine. So then right here, you're just going to want to hold up left, uh, tap A twice, use two feathers, and then beak bomb... 
into the top of this alcove. If you go too low, you're going to land. If you go too high, you're going to hit the top of the alcove. You want to aim like the top of the alcove here. And then you'll go on here. And then my visual cue for grabbing this jiggy is a little bit different than what most people do. Uh, but it, it's 100% consistent. Um, you see this uh, white kind of splotch right here. Um, as soon as Banjo um, is like the bottom of his foot is um, like lined up with it, like whenever they're even, you just want to hold um, right um, and then upright to get the jiggy right there. And if you miss the jiggy, you can just tap A, line yourself back up in this corner, like you'll fly up here and then you'll slowly lower. And then just look out for this visual cue. And so yeah, just hold right, upright, grab the jiggy, tap A. And then I'm using a practice ROM, so uh, the jiggy's not here. Obviously, if you're doing a speed run, the pink Jinjo would have dropped a jiggy on the spring pad. Uh, consistent way to get this in flight is just hold down until you can't see the spring pad on screen. And then go neutral on the stick. And then just uh, like line yourself up accordingly. Then you'll tap A, uh, you'll grab this note, and then you should be perfectly above this crab and the X that'll be right here. And you'll be high enough to where you can kill the crab and hit the X at the same time uh, with no issues whatsoever. Um, so yeah, that is, um, that is all. If you have any questions, just obviously, uh, you know, put them down and I'll try to answer them. But those are just the kind of cues I look out for. I'll show this all off one more time in just like one full motion. And yeah, by the way, also make sure you're holding down to R the entire time because um, you turn sharper in the air when you do that. Uh, all right. Yeah, that's about it.